Devotion is a movie that tells the story of the first black naval aviator, Jesse Brown, and his wingman, Tom Hudner, in their heroic actions during the Korean War. Arguably one of the most famous pair of wingmen in naval history, their story is one of the highest honor in military tradition. The question is this, how accurate is the movie in comparison to what actually took place? Does Devotion do justice in telling Brown and Hudner's story, or is it filled with too much flashy Hollywood? My honest response is yes. Devotion is one of the more accurate military movies out there, especially when concerning these men and this time period. Based on the book Devotion by Adam Makos, the movie tries to condense this national bestseller into the time frame of a motion picture. Sure, there are events that are condensed, lines not said, characters that are omitted or not expanded on, but such is the process of trying to tell a complex story on the big screen. There are, however, a number of things added to increase dramatic flair in the movie, specifically one that will have military historians in a frenzy over. That being said, Devotion is a must-see movie, especially if you are into aviation or military history. Stay tuned to the end of this video for an opportunity for everyone watching to get the book Devotion for free. Now, we are about to go into the details of the movie and break down some of the historical events in question. A strong warning, the following section and episodes of the series will contain many spoilers. If you haven't seen the movie or know of their story, then I strongly recommend you stop here and watch it for yourself. In watching the movie for the first time, you will experience some of the deepest and richest moments of military honor and heroism. So go watch it and come back here for some historical analysis. Devotion is based on the lives of naval aviators Jesse Brown and Tom Hudner. Born on October 13, 1926 in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, Jesse was the son of an impoverished sharecropper. Growing up in poverty, Jesse worked hard and had a passion for aviation. He worked his way to Ohio State University where he got into the Naval Reserves and managed to be one of the first blacks to enter into naval flight training. Jesse was fortunate to get a flight instructor that gave him the opportunity to prove himself on his capabilities instead of race. Eventually, he passed flight school and became the first African American to receive his naval aviator wings. You can watch the fifth episode of this series to learn more about Jesse's time in flight school. After school, Jesse was assigned to VF-32. Tom Hutner was born on August 31, 1924 in Fall River, Massachusetts. Son of a wealthy businessman who ran a chain of grocery stores, Hutner's Markets, Hunter grew up in an upper-class lifestyle. Graduating from the Naval Academy in 1946, he eventually went into the fleet. When his friends convinced him to go to naval aviation, Hunter went through flight school and received his naval aviator wings. When he was sent to VF-32, he met Brown for the first time and became his wingman. There is a lot that devotion got correct as much was taken straight from the book. The scene where Jesse and Tom first fly and go over Jesse's house? The F-32 transitioning from the F-8F Bearcat to the F-4U Corsair. The scene showing how hard it was for Jesse qualifying on the Corsair. The scene at Con where they meet Elizabeth Taylor. The scene with Time Magazine. The scene of Carol Morin crashing his plane in the water and dying. And of course, the emotionally charged scene where Jesse speaks all forms of racial slurs at himself in the mirror. All of these were true accounts that were prominent in the book. There were, however, several inaccurate things in the movie. To begin with, Tom Hunter did not meet Jesse's wife until after Jesse died and Hunter was at the ceremony to receive the Medal of Honor. The scene in Jesse's house between Tom and Jesse's wife, Daisy, was added in there to help the story flow. The scene at Com where they get in a fight with several Marines. Although Jesse received much discrimination, this scene was a generalization trying to sum up the many instances that occurred. Along with several other minor inaccuracies, most of these can be chalked up to squeezing up a historical book into a two-hour movie. Now, the big three events in the movie that cause us to stop and question their historical accuracy. First, did Jesse Brown actually go on a mission to attack the bridges across the Yalu River? Second, did Hunter and Brown actually shoot down a MiG-15 with their Corsairs? 
And third, is the ending of devotion true? Did Tom Hunter actually crash his plane into the ground to try to save Jesse Brown? We will briefly look at these three events. However, all three cases have their own episodes in this series where we will discuss each one in length. Let's begin. Did Jesse Brown actually go on a mission to attack the bridges across the Yalu River? Yes. These famous missions by the Navy took place over a matter of 13 days, November 9th through the 21st, and Jesse Brown flew several of them. The Navy was tasked with destroying these bridges due to heavy Air Force bombers having trouble bombing them without crossing to Chinese airspace. However, the movie is inaccurate in Jesse's participation of this attack. VF-32's role was to suppress the AAA units, while the Sky Raider squadrons were the ones to bomb the bridge. The scene of Jesse being the one to strike the bridge is untrue. However, he did successfully hit several AAA units. So our response is yes. Jesse went on several strike missions to destroy the bridges. However, no, he was not personally the one to destroy the bridge. Watch the second episode of this series for a detailed account of this mission. 2. Did Hunter and Brown actually shoot down a MiG-15 with their Corsairs? In Devotion, we see Jesse and Tom being jumped by a MiG-15. They break in a coordinated dogfight and Hunter shoots down the jet with his piston F4U Corsair. This seems too outlandish to be true, and for Hunter and Brown, it is. This did not happen, as Hunter and Brown are not credited for shooting down a single plane during the war. However, the story of an F4U shooting down a MiG-15 is indeed a true story. Marine aviator Captain Jesse Fulmer from VMA-312 was flying his F4U Corsair when he and his wingman were jumped by no fewer than seven MiG-15s. Fulmer managed to shoot down a MiG with his Corsair before being shot down himself. This action is captured in detail in our third episode of this series. So our response is no. Jesse and Tom did not get into a dogfight with a MiG-15 and shoot it down. However, it is true that a MiG-15 was shot down by an F4U, but his name was Jesse Fulmer. And finally, is the ending of Devotion true? Did Tom Hunter actually crash his plane into the ground to try to save Jesse Brown? In this climatic scene in Devotion, the most iconic moment of the real Jesse Brown and Tom Hunter is captured. Yes, Tom Hunter actually crashed his plane to try and save his wingman Jesse, and he received a Medal of Honor for doing it. Unfortunately, it is also true that Jesse did die in real life as Tom was not able to save him. I believe Devotion handled this beautifully and did justice to the real Jesse Brown and Tom Hunter. The fourth episode of this series goes into detail about this event. In this final one, yes, Tom Hunter really does crash his plane to try and save his friend, Jesse Brown. My final analysis of Devotion. Are there historical inaccuracies in it? Yes. Are a few of them pretty big? Yes. Brown and Hunter do not shoot down a MiG-15, and Brown does not destroy the Yalu Bridge. However, most of Devotion gets it right. The movie properly depicts the life of these two men, specifically the life of the first black naval aviator. Yes, military historians are going to gawk at all the inaccuracies of the movie, but I believe that completely misses what makes this movie great. And as military historians, let's not miss this. This movie makes history alive by bringing audiences into the real life of Jesse Brown and Tom Hunter. In this, they experience the richness of some of the deepest traditions of U.S. military. Honor, courage, and sacrifice. It brings into light one of the most forgotten wars in history, the Korean War, and with it, the forgotten men who fought it. So let's celebrate this movie and encourage Hollywood to continue to make movies that shine light on the heroic men of the armed forces who sacrifice so much for the sake of others. Now, if you enjoy the movie and want more, I challenge you to get the book Devotion. This is where I have the means for you to receive the audiobook version for free. Audible gives you a month free once you sign up with them. You can cancel your membership before that month ends and not have to pay anything. 
Don't worry, Amazon gladly gives out that month free to try to win over anyone with their service. So don't worry about canceling before your trial ends and don't miss out on getting this book free. If you're anything like me, you will listen to Devotion before the week's end. Use the link below to get started on your trial. And if you've already read Devotion, try this book, The Flight of Jesse Leroy Brown by Theodore Taylor. Another great book about Jesse that goes into depth in areas that Devotion misses. The movie Devotion is a great movie and we should end this with honoring these two men, Jesse Leroy Brown and Tom Jerome Hudner.